Okay, so uh, hi everyone. So my name is uh, Frank Cornu. I'm an Office 365 developer uh, working for my own company based in Montreal, Canada. Uh, and today I will show you the latest update uh, for the modern search solution uh, since uh, the August release, uh, which won a big release actually. So I will cover. I, not, I will not cover the entire solution, but only the uh, the updates. Uh, a quick recap of what is this solution is a set of web parts around uh, shop on uh, search, uh, mainly to fill the gap between the modern search experience uh, and what we had in the classic shop on search experience regarding the search web parts. So basically, you have a search result web parts, search box, uh, refiners, and so on. So uh, first of all, for non-developers, uh, you can get the latest release from the GitHub repository, SPDEV solution. Uh, so download the package and you can install in your app catalog. Um, so and if you want to contribute, you can just fork and uh, make PR in this repository. Uh, so let's start with the with the update. So. Um, I have set up a, a search, search page uh, here, and so the update, the first update uh, we've made, all the updates are mainly in the search uh, result web part. So the first update, we made more uh, practical updates. Uh, instead of, before you had to select your selected properties from the, the, the search uh, manually, so you had, you had to type uh, the search properties, uh, the managed properties, now you have uh, a pretty fine list of uh, managed property. You can select uh, your own managed properties. So uh, not every properties are listed here. Uh, so in the case you use, for, ex for example, aliases uh, for a managed property, you can just type your property. For instance, I, I think I have a, a property name. Uh, PNP severity, something like this. So I can add it to the list and uh, it will be something here. Here you go. So you can add your own managed property uh, in this list. So more practical update than a real big update. Uh, the big updates are mainly around the uh, templating, the templating layouts. So it's Basically, it all started with a, a GitHub issue around the templating mechanism uh, for this, this web part. Uh, maybe you know this web part is heavily built on handlebars, which is a templating framework, uh, JavaScript templating framework. So the main issue was uh, with handlebars. Handlebars is cool, but uh, it became difficult to get the same experience as the Office UI Fabrics native components uh, only with handlebars. You you have either to customize your CSS uh, classes inside uh, your template, for instance, to write your own classes, uh, emulate the, the Office UI Fabric styles, uh, which can be very difficult, or you have to use uh, another feature, which, which is the, the code renderer. So completely rewrite the experience using uh, pure React components. So uh, it was a major issue, uh, I think, because uh, because of this uh, this behavior, the, the CSS classes be, uh, uh, and the React components. So in this release, I, uh, I think uh, we found the, the middle ground between um, handlebar templates and React components. So before digging into the, the code and how we did it, uh, we'll ju just go through the uh, all the, the new layouts uh, we've added to the to this web bar. So the first one, I think it's the coolest one, is uh, the detail list. So the detail list basically is all, it, this is the Office UI Fabric detail list that you can see in the, when you browse the, the components on the Office UI Fabric website. And um, basically it allows you to view uh, your data, your search data in the table of view. Um, but the thing is you have now some template options. So we've added some option in this view. For instance, you can you can uh, choose to s display the icon or not, or uh, to run the compact uh, 
your table in compact mode and so on. But the big update on this one is uh, the column builder. So the column builder will allow you to uh, create your own column, uh, obviously, and uh, configure the behavior of your columns. So for instance, you will choose the column display name, the column value. Uh, the column value is uh, basically a managed property you can use. So you can use the row value of the managed property. For instance, here I use the title. Uh, I have some other options, the width of the column, uh, the height, oh, little typo here. Uh, some options, it is sortable, resizable, multi-line, and so on. So I can choose, for instance, uh, uh, yeah, to basically to, to customize my experience and I add my uh, own column. So let's say I want to add my column a little, it's gonna be, I've added before. To the list, I think I have. Yeah. Um, no multi-line and so on. So I can add my own column on the fly. So I can build my, uh, my, my experience uh, to meet my requirements. Uh, but as you can see here, I took an example with a raw value of the search results. Uh, as you can see, is the last modified uh, column, the last modified managed property. As you can see, the output is not really uh, nice. Uh, it is the raw value, so I, not very uh, very nice. So the thing uh, we can do now is instead of use the raw value of the managed property, we can use uh, an handle bar expression. So let's uh, let's say I want to update this column value. I want to click here and I can pass an handle bar expression here. So all the handle bar uh, helpers are available here. So this last modified time. Yep. Uh, the format here and yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I can do something like this. So uh, it allows you basically to format the inputs uh, the way you want. Uh, and not only the value, but also you can add also conditions uh, and so on. Another example, let's say I want to uh, change the background regarding the severity, the value of the, the this column. I can do something like this. So just grab my code. You here. There you go. I can do something like this. So I'll just show you the code to see uh, to see it. A little fast, uh, so I can add condition even in my style uh, section and so on. So okay, I can, I can, uh, sorry, I can use every field uh, from my item context, and I can make, uh, I can write conditions uh, and so on, and I can play with styles uh, and so on. You have the the control over the the, the column cells, uh, so you can pretty much do everything. So for the column builder, this is the uh, the big updates for the layout. So as you can see, you can do uh, pretty much uh, <laughs> what you want in there. Uh, the next layout uh, we've implemented is the tile layout. So uh, before tiles, there was a tile layout, but the tiles were, was made with custom CSS, not the best uh, experience to, to look like the uh, the, the Office UI Fabric uh, theme. So same same principle here. So we added uh, tile layout so you can configure in the same way your um, card uh, placeholders. So uh, you have the titles, tag, preview image, and so on. And as you can see, you can also inject some uh, handlebar expressions. Uh, the difference between the uh, cards layout and the data list layout in, is here you can't uh, add some HTML markup uh, because uh, I didn't show you, but I would just go back to the data list. I can do something like this. I can also inject some um, HTML markup here. Up. So let's say I want to make this. No, not string, but strong. Here, here, yeah. I can do something like this. So the, the HTML marker is is allowed inside a column cells. 
but if I switch to the tile layout and I want to do the same thing for card uh, placeholders, uh, you cannot uh, inject your own HTML uh, because behind the, the scenes the React control and we can't add uh, HTML. So if you do something like this, only the raw value of your expression will be uh, will be displayed. So uh, I can use the helpers, the handlebars helpers, uh, no problem here. But if I do something like this, uh, the value will be interpreted uh, as is. So as you can see here, so you, you can't inject your own HTML except those two fields where the hello HTML is uh, checked. So in these special fields, so the location correspond to uh, this field and tags is here. Uh, we added this placeholder because sometimes you have to display some custom information, for instance, uh, taxonomy tags and, and so on. So this is the purpose of this, of this field. So you, in this field, you can add your own HTML like you like you see here. Uh, you can use this uh, markup. Uh, I will talk about this later, the term, but uh, for now, this is the experience for the for the card layout. Okay, so uh, the few options, a few other options on the cards, uh, the result preview. So if I click here, when I go to the Tile and I want to, uh, to click on the, the image, I will have the preview automatically. So it works for documents it, and it works also for videos. So, oops, not uh, videos. Yeah. So let's say I want to display videos. I will have also uh, the preview uh, displayed. Okay, I go back to the option and the latest option, I think it is, uh, yeah, the compact mode, the same way as the detailist. So if you want to display information uh, in a smaller smaller way. Um, okay, so the next one is the carousel, the slider. So the slider uh, is basically the same I use for the PNP intranet for first of its name uh, a few years ago. Uh, the thing is with this slider, it's uh, compatible with touch and so on. So it's a very nice slider. I did not make it my, uh, this is not my own code, but a library. Uh, but uh, the thing is in the slider, you can use your own, um, let's say, uh, content in the slide content. So uh, I will dig into this uh, in a few seconds, but uh, before just a couple of options here, you can control the autoplay, the uh, pause and over, number of elements you want to group inside slides. So for instance, if I say one here, you know it's okay. I can control the, uh, if I, I want to, to see the, the, the dots and, and I want anything scrolling and so on. Uh, but the thing is, uh, as you can see, cards are displayed here, but if I want to display uh, anything, uh, my own content, uh, I will have to edit this template. Uh, and yep, I will zoom in, show you. So as you can see, you have the control inside the slide component, the carousel component. So here it is the, the document card, but let's say I want to display just an image. For instance, so well, not an image. I will, I will take the persona, uh, persona control. We'll talk about this later. But here, ah, it doesn't work because I don't have the rights. Hmm. No, what I will take the image. It was simple. Uh, you have also the documentation of the templating. So if you go to the SPDF solution repository, you have a templating uh, markdown file explaining all uh, you can see in this demo, the layout and so on. Uh, I will just grab the code snippet. I have, I need to do this demo. Just, yep, yes. Um, so if I go back here, carousel, I did the content. And I only take the image. Yeah, okay. 
and as you can see the image only the image is displayed so but i i can do pretty much what i want here and i can use the uh, handlebars, bars helpers and the context variables and so on uh, just uh don't forget the special escape character uh because where you are in the slide uh, content, the, the, the component content, uh, we have to escape and all in the expressions to, to get it works. So read the doc about this. I won't explain uh, all of this now, but it's all uh, explained in the documentation. And the next layout uh, is the people layout. So the people layout, yeah. Uh, why it doesn't work? Mm. Okay, you know what? I will just re-add my web port. Just mess up with something, but... Okay. Okay, so the people layout basically is all the same. Uh, we use the personal card from Office UI Fabric. Uh, and like the tile layout, you can uh, customize the display. So. Uh, first option, uh, simple option is the size of the the, the personal uh, photo, large, extra large, and so on. And I can also manage uh, the fields. So like the tile, uh, like the cards, I can choose uh, what to display inside the placeholder. So the image, uh, first name, last name, uh, I can use either the, the um, Manage property um, value, row value, or use an handlebar expression. So it's, it works the same way. So let's say I want just the first name here. So as you can see, you can uh, customize and uh, customize the display to meet your requirements. So basically, it's uh, an easy way to, let's say, uh, build a directory web part on something based on, on, on search. Um, so this is for, for the for the personal web part. The latest web part is more for uh, developers. Uh, it's the debug web part. So the debug web part basically allows you to uh, to inspect what uh, variables uh, available, are available inside the handlebar uh, context. So you have obviously your items, but also all the things you can use inside your templates, the, the localization uh, values, uh, some context value, and also the latest one we've added in the last release, the the theme um, uh, properties. So for this one, I will just show you uh, the usage of this. I will switch back to the simple list. I will just remove this because I don't need people source. Yeah. So if I go back to my simple list layout and I see the uh, template, as you can see here, uh, I have a, a special uh, CSS class using the theme, uh, the current theme uh, value, the time, the theme primary. So um, I can use this notation to inject my own, um, to use the, the, the colors and so on inside my uh, my template. So I think I use inside the title and so on. Anyway, yeah, that's it. So it means when you do something like this, as you can see it's orange now. Uh, can change the look here. Can let's say oh, till here. So as you can see, you can control the uh, yeah the theme and colors and so on inside your handlebar template. So you can write your own CSS class in and so on. Uh, okay. Okay, say thank you. Uh, basically, these are the new layouts. Uh, I didn't talk about how we make them, but uh, as you maybe you, you you've seen some uh, pretty cool markup here. Let's say I go to the document card. Uh, if I inspect this, as you can see, there are some specials uh, elements, HTML elements here. You have a document card with some attributes and so on. So the way we've built it uh, is we used uh, web components to make the link between handlebars and React. So I would switch to the code to explain you a little bit more how we did this. Uh, so we have a couple of components defined here and 
a, compon uh, a web component, basically, uh, we can use custom elements uh, markup to inject your component inside the HTML page, basically. Uh, so what we've done is just to uh, write some custom HTML element components. So when you work with uh, web components, for, for instance, uh, in TypeScript, you have to extend the HTML element class. And we've built a custom, um, yeah, custom way to pass some uh, parameters to your custom elements, HTML custom elements, uh, to React Control. So we use a, a special notation to camel case uh, to, to pass the attributes inside uh, React component. And basically, a web component inside the solution is just a wrapper around a React component. So if I take the, the document card, as you can see, it's very simple. I just uh, hook my React Control inside the web component uh, DOM node. So it's very simple, and I just inject uh, custom element attributes as uh, React props. So very, very simple. And uh, this way, I can write my components, a React component, a basic, uh, as usual. So uh, no problem uh, with this. So we defined a couple of components, as you can see here. So uh, it means you can mix them in your templates. So you can use video cards, uh, document cards, uh, based on conditions, and so on. So this is, I think, the best of both worlds uh, to create your custom experience, search experience uh, inside the, the inside the, the, the modern uh, search uh, web parts. So um, feel free to expect the code how we did this. If you want, if you want to write your own web components and make PR. <laughs> I don't know. Um, basically, this is how we uh, we did it. Um, so I think it covers pretty much everything. Uh, read the documentation. So, like I said, we made a templating Markdown file to help you to use these new layouts. Uh, I think there is also some pending issues, but honestly, I don't have <laughs> pretty much time uh, right now to <laughs> to resolve this. But uh, anyway. Uh, if you have issues, go to these repositories, uh, share your feedback, use this solution, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have some question. I think I'm done now. Follow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Frank. This was a really, really cool demo. And let me say the modern search controls, in my opinion, are a really great example of what community efforts can do and also of what you can do using also the PMP reusable controls. Because correct me if I'm wrong, Frank, but under the cover, you also use the, yeah, the PMP React controls yeah. and property yeah, controls. Sure. So, <laughs> so we, are, we are leveraging the community uh, uh, at multiple layers, I would say, at multiple levels. So, Really, really uh, great stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm.